Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be reacting to DBG ranking the best small forwards in NBA 2K22, my team. So massive shout out to DBG for coming up with this list and this video. DBG and I tend to disagree on a lot of things, though, so that's kind of why I do react to him and just hear what he has to say, but also give my opinions in to them as well. So massive shout out to DBG, and if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing the subscribe buttons. We are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. We'll see where DBG has these guys ranked and go from there. But uh, we're not that far off, let's be real. So, anyway, now let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Come on. So the first player He's got have. a lot of tiers. S, A, B, C, D, E, and worthless. We have seven Halen Horton Tucker. DBG sounds kind of sick, too. Set. Horton Tucker's not very good, though. Dude, Taylor Horton Tucker he oh. is like, he's bad, man. He is bad. Like, he's going to go into D tier. I am going to say, C tier's a little high. May you know what? I'm putting him in E tier. His release is, I bet, like, I bet you can say his release is, um, Mediocre. Horn Tucker is not I very good. I personally think it's horrendous. But I do know that there are a few people that do actually like his release. So I think for those guys, he might be a little bit higher. But I don't think you can really argue. I mean, how do you like Taylor Horn Tucker? That's my You want to put him D tier? That's fine. I'm going to put him into E tier. How do you like him? I, I really I, I, move. I, even with his Evo, he's, I still don't believe he's very good. Uh, like much. back when Horton Tucker was in the draft mode, anytime I got him, I wanted nothing to do with him. Next week, Alex bad. English, and this is a, for me, this is like the one of the most underrated players in the game. He's not so bad, obviously he's got Carmelo Anthony release, and <laughs> next gen it's a lot better than current. I have greened, I have greened so many three pointers with this guy, that is low rating. I'm just like, you know what? Melo's got a good jumper on oh, next sorry, gen. No, it's not more. Than, it's more enough to be possible. He's not a good shooter, but he's good enough that you can't just leave the guy wide open. His mid-range is elite. His dunking is pretty good. His dribble six are okay. Like, in general. But it's Alex English, dog. It's Alex it's English. Came out in a really, really... He was the worst card in a non-hyped batch of cards. Who is using well, Alex I know a lot of English. people really don't like Alex English. And I understand that. But he's not terrible. He is absolutely... Alex absolutely English, fine. though? So then we've got Alan Houston. C-tier is probably fine. I'm going to put Alan Houston. He's either B or A. Because he shoots the ball. Houston's a really good shooter, but that's about it. He doesn't really do anything else but shoot the ball. But he does but it he really shoots well. He shoots the ball at a really, really high rate. He's got Ray Allen base. His defense leaves quite a bit to be desired. It does. He's not a top day, shooting like, guard in the game, but he's if good. If you're putting Allen Houston on the floor, he is there to hit wide open jump shots, and he does that at as high a rate as pretty much anybody. He does. As far as I'm aware, he cannot get limitless, which is quite a bit of a problem it is especially for a guy who's catch and shoot with that good of a three ball like you gotta give him limitless spot but right yeah, he is just better day like you got to man so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna have to put him in a tier i don't know what i'm gonna do with dale ellis but i think a is probably right tier. like small i know four, he's difficult I to get i know he costs quite four, a lot of mt shoots. he's still nowhere even in the stratosphere of s tier but for me alan houston is going into a tier it's fine we've got andre iguodala b or so a iguodala, no way we're going C tier. Again, no like, way we're going not C tier. That hyped. He came out in a set that was not particularly great. No he's way we're going C tier. We've had none of these prime time, time cards are hyped. He's obviously in C tier now. I'm going to move him up. He's A. He's a 3 and D guy. He I was about, about, about to get mad, DBG. I, I don't know if I've ever used Iggy outside of a game. By his no. defense. That is he's fine. kind of what he does. And he's not terrible on offense. He's not going to dribble. He can't be your primary or secondary. To be honest, he can't really even be a tertiary ball handler. If you put the ball in his hands and he is not either dunking wide open or shooting, you're doing something wrong. I feel it. Is like but Iggy's defense is not bad. Jaylen Brown, but he can't play the two. JB Obviously, so you're tough. not going to be playing 6'6 six six Andre Wadala power forward, so his secondary position is basically worthless. And a small forward, he's still... He's okay. I know undersized. I don't so, love him, but I'm you got to respect him a little bit. I think... Maybe, maybe he has dropped. I'm not sure who was worse, him or Allen Houston, but I'm going to put him in. I think a. I like Allen Houston a little bit more just because of the shooting guard eligibility. That's my whole thing. Next up, we have got Wiggins. And now this Andrew Wiggins card, he's B tier if I've ever seen it. For like, his time, he was good. Without question, a spot for him. For his first time. First player we have in B tier. He's got base 22. His movement is pretty decent. Like, I've used him a few times on people's accounts. It's not like he's going to be breaking people down off the dribble. But he, on defense especially, like, his player feels He's 6'8", man. Like, there are some players that just move clunky. 
And I will say, like, someone like a DeAndre Ayton kind of moves clunky. So if he's trying to turn, he doesn't really feel like he's got that high speed. However, Wiggins doesn't feel clunky. He plays really good defense. He moves well. And for me, he's B tier. He doesn't play good enough offense. I like Wiggins. I definitely do. He doesn't play do. either good enough offense or good enough. I like him just because of his release more than anything, though. B -tier, but I think B tier is... But you got a free Andrew Wiggins. He can't play for you. Next, we got Bernard King. He's good. I like Bernard King. This is, is terrible. pretty much unachievable. He is pretty much... If he's not S tier, I'll lose my mind, I think. Much unattainable for 99% of players. But he he's still good. Today, Bernard King belongs in A tier. The guy shoots the ball really well because of his base five. The guy How is Iggy even comparable to Bernard moves King? Moves really, really How well. is Iggy comparable? There is nothing particularly wrong with Bernard King. He's good. He does everything on the floor at at least, at, at least an average rate. He's good. And with base five, he's going to green pretty much everything. The, again, the only problem is, is that he is one of those collector level cards. And he is one of those collector level. If Bernard King was a free card, he'd be an S tier for DVG. No the question. Such a no question about it. That if you're not actively going for collector level, the guy's going to be unattainable. He like, is, but if you have him, he's nobody's good. Nobody's going to be out here getting. Nobody is going to be out here getting 1,900 or so cards, whatever it takes to get him. Unless they are. Hey, he's good though. Very so. much like trying to get that amount unless they're actively going for collector level so fact is collector level this year is actually this solid though. i'm, I'm time not, a lot of people I'm get this guy he's gonna be over um he's gonna be outdated but he's very good for this moment in time for guys who dig out he is a bone come on do we he's, have everyone in a tier now like bone is that i had to say he's better than iggy i think bone in my opinion is the best player we've seen on the list so far he's yeah. not better than oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to go back and do this because DVG says some outlandish things sometimes. How is Bruce Bowen, with all due respect, in the same stratosphere as Bernard King? I mean, the cards aren't even close. What are we even talking about here? I mean, come on, DVG. The, 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 the hate to, towards Bernard King needs to stop. It Defense needs to stop, is, man. Uh, surprisingly not as good as I thought it was going to be. Bruce, his, as as more, his, his shot is so chicken with half clamps, and now we have a half clamps Trey Young in November. Yeah, but he sucks. So. A bit interesting, but um, he has half clamps. He can't dribble. Trey doesn't. But stink. his jumper not is that really, really nice, and he's six seven and plays at the two. Like I've almost like most players to use Bruce Bowen will not miss one. Bruce, he's like, chicken. I struggle man. a lot against Bruce Bowen because he genuinely genuinely just doesn't miss he does you're not often. missing with big bruce and for that reason like bowen bowen's got to be bowen has got to be in a tier we've got more players in a tier than all the other tiers combined we got to go to players in tiers um brian russell he's not I'm that bad because brian russell's better than alex english you say brian russell is not bad at all brian russell is either brian russell is actually solid now is People he a competitive level player, player no russell but he's solid he can't move he can shoot Jump shot Scotty 30. release, especially on next gen, is super easy to green. His defense is really nice, and he actually has a high three-point rating, so it's not like Scott. I swear, every time we see Brian Russell in 2K, he's good. 70 Maybe that's three, just three me, rating, but I really feel like he's green. good. He can actually hit the occasional white. This guy, as a Sapphire award, was so good. He was so, so good as a uh, Sapphire award. So for me, um, I, he, there will be so many weeks where he's using limited, and... I but guess, I but it's season. like, I don't know. Cam Reddish is going to go same tier. I was say, Reddish has to at least be C tier. As a Sapphire Reddish small is forward, fine. it's a tough one to tell because Cam Reddish is better offensively. He moves that a little bit better. But Brian Even is definitely better on defense. He is, but Cam's not terrible on defense. Eight, as far as I'm aware, they I don't are think both. he's terrible. I'm not sure. Can Brian Russell play too? I don't think he can. But um, either way, they both have good height. They both move. I say they both shoot the ball they're well. They're both 6'8", yeah, I both think, kind of right? Yeah. Cones. And, like, Cameron is honestly one of those guys where I played against, some, I played against some really, really good dude who beat me. Like, beat me fair and square. This guy out completely outplayed me. I need Cam Reddish on his team. Cam did nothing wrong in the whole game. He wasn't spectacular. Cam Reddish is a guy when we get a diamond or peak diamond. There'd be nothing wrong. We need a Paul George before, but I'm scenario. just saying Cam's going to be tough. Lovert. Well, I'm not high on Lovert. Because he's got 70 on quick, I'm going to put him into C. 70 on quick really is a good release. Expect. I'm not I even. I know a lot of people are chicken. very, very high on Kyrus Levert. Not me. I, I don't like 70 on quick. That is what? one of my big things. Is that like that is not one of my... Not only is it not one of my favorite releases, it is a release that... Why I, do you not like that? Even on Tobias Harris, I struggle with it. 
What? Every struggle with 70 on quick. I love 70. Makes an objectively good release. People green with it on me all the time. I love I that a lot release. Of people green with it. So I always say, and I'm like, look, at the end of the day, he's still a brilliant, he's still a solid card. But I don't know if Karis Levert's solid, but we got guys like Gary average. Harris and, I just don't, uh, I don't and rate Tobias him. Harris who are. I don't rate the guy at all. Or solid. Karis so then we have got Mello. S. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to put the lower rated players in now so we can go over the. Jamal Wilkes is worthless. I don't list. care. Jared Culver, you are the single worst player on this list. Okay. He is surprised. Why slander Jared Surprising. Culver? He is worthless. He is because bad, he's a 6'6 six, six guy who can't play D2. He plays power forward, and there are so many really, really good sapphire small forwards. He genuinely is useless. But I will say this. Jamal Wilkes isn't he, worthless. He's bad. In though. draft, if you get him as one of your picks, it's not the end of the world because he can hit corner three. So he's not worthless. I'd he's probably rather Kramer have him than Taylor Horton Tucker. Awful lot. Like, he can hit corner threes. He's not a good player by any means. I'd probably rather him than Horton Tucker. Honest, I hate Horton terrible Tucker. Player. I'm going to say that right now. He's pretty terrible. But in terms of draft, he's not the worst. Okay. So, Who now we're going to the weird list here. Amy Luka. This is Luka Doncic. Like, a lot he of these bad. current Series 2 cards, outside like Steph Curry, um, I do not like a lot of these currencies. Try to think who else. I just think they're. Jamal Wilkes has to be at least E tier. He's, he's terrible. terrible. I mean, I mean, they serve a purpose. They serve a purpose. Like we we know why they're there. They're there to just be pack filler. And yeah, and collect out, like, lever. Be a pink diamond card. I say be an amethyst tired coming out of pack. He's right. It is. It right. is a card or a pack that's, filler, but that's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. So it does um, help with collector levels. Oh my well. god! Leeds just announced their starting lineup against Leicester, and Adam Forshaw is starting. Crazy. So any other guys in the bottom tier? I mean, all right, let's see who. who else. Like, it's hard even to find guy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was gonna say I was like these guys are all all right. No, no, you. Oh, you yeah. are one of I didn't the even worst see Paige. I didn't even see him. I still don't know if Paige is worse than Horton Tucker. Ever played with. I still Paige think is Paige is better than Horton Tucker, and I hate Jack Paige's He's legitimately one of the worst players I've played with this year. He's better he than Horton Tucker. Absolutely horrendous. I, don't I just think Horton Tucker, honestly, Paige should be moved down. The guy is a garbage man. Can he shoot he's when he's wide nine. open? Yeah, but you can shoot when you're wide open, dudes. With this. I can shoot he's when I'm wide open. He's 6'9, though. DeAndre Ayton. No, you can't. You missed seven in a row. You really wanted to. You can shoot wide open with Ha Sung Jin. If you really wanted to. Let's settle Pace down. Yarkovich is his release. It's not broken off the catch. I will say that. It is not the worst thing in the world to catch. I had a client like Sesha for, but he can't move. He feels like he's got 20. I mean, feet. I get what DBG is like, saying. Versus but Duncan Robinson is a no brainer. He's, better than, Ho- he's better than Horton Tucker. Pace Yarkovich. I'll hold to that. I mean, I hate to put him here, but he well and truly belongs in the I'm going to be intrigued game. to see where he puts Jamal Wilkes. Okay. He's not bad defensively, Ooh, in the, is I have him and we're never using Taylor Horton Tucker level. Harrison Barnes isn't very good either, is he? I don't know. I don't know. I do, again, I'm trying to, like, mute and unmute my mic, so if I do end up, like, coughing or something, I apologize. Are you sick? I think DBG is sick, serious. man. So, um, yeah, I need to get the voice back. So, um, yeah, now we are going to... Seems like everybody is losing Keenan. their... Oh, yeah, Larry, Larry Keenan. stinks. You know why he's going to go eat here. He's bad. His shot is just so bad. He's, it doesn't have a 59 like, three ball. not bad. He is not a bad player by any means. Like I, A lot of people really like this card. Larry's but not good, guys. Day, I don't care. He's shoot. not good. You are, If you are a small forward who can't shoot, you are a liability Larry Keenan every is not single good. time you step foot on the floor. And for that reason. I think I saw DVG lose to Amy Jarrett Wallace the other day. So we'll see where he puts him. I can't put him above E tier. He's not very good. And you know what? I think Harrison I Barnes. You're a little bit better than some of those guys. You're going to go E tier as well. Where are you going to put Jamal at the E tier? Jamal like Harrison stinks. Barnes release genuinely, genuinely is bad. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go a little bit quicker with the next like half or so of this tier list. Um, I'm struggling to get through 20 minutes of speaking right now. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter, you guys will know why I'm struggling to get through about 20 minutes of speaking. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... Oh. Carmelo Anthony S. Carmelo Anthony without on next gen might be the best small forward in the game. Without question, on the best small forward in the game right now. Like the more I've used like Kevin Durant and Melo, Melo prob or Kevin Durant probably is more longevity. In like a while, Kevin Durant will be good. 
But right now, Dribble Style is not the be all and end all. I no. think on next gen, Melo is better than KD. Melo Current gen, better. I think KD is better. Like, Melo versus KD, Melo just shoots the ball way better. Melo's release on next gen feels it's like so Melo's good. release of old. A brilliant, brilliant. On player. next gen, it is. His good. handle is mediocre. His defense is above average, but still. It's fine. I gave him a defensive shoe, so he's fine. He just but. shoots the ball so well. He's going to be a cone in my team until realistically December. And yeah. It is between him and Kevin Durant for the best small forward. Now, Melo is fantastic. Plus, Karan he's Butler. free. Mm. I'm going to go B tier for Karan Butler. I think B I is right. People, but again, if you got Karan Butler out of possession put and Butler in are kind of under no money spending, he's fine. my whole thing with Karan is that he's definitely okay. He's just, he's just kind of there, isn't it's, he? He can't really he move it all at a relatively though. decent rate. He's the same release as Hondo. In my opinion, Hondo is better than Karan Butler. Yes, I agree. They're very close, but I do think Hondo is slightly better. I agree. He's got that base 17. His dribbling, right. he got it nerfed because they nerfed the Dame Lillard behind the back. Yeah, Karan can't really and move. I mean, with pretty much everything, um, Karan Butler is just, he's just okay. He's just okay. Then we have got Chris Mullen. Don't move him into S tier. He is not S tier. Don't yeah, do this it. This is going to be my most. Don't do it. Do not do it. Pick probably. Do not even think about it. No, actually, you know what? It's not. I'm going to I'm gonna not do controversial. Thank you. Because they Thank say they nerfed Sniper. Thank you. When he had Hoff Sniper, dude did not miss. I mean... He misses more whites than so many people. I guess, but like, it's like, what else Hoff does he sniper, do? And he's with like a 99 three ball with coach and stuff. He misses shots. I had my mother he was chicken ever when I used miss to. shots. When I used to run Chris Moe and he and never I'm sorry, missed. like a guy whose job is to essentially shoot 100%. If you are playing the Allen Houston, the Money uh, Money Mitch role, the Chris Mullen role, the Dale Ellis role, and you are shooting less than 80% from three, you are a liability. And 80%? There are stages where Chris Mullen nah, has become a liability high, for me. He went from being my single best player. He was a no-brainer S tier a week ago, but I find it hard I've to I've never been that high on Mullen, S tier right now. I really do. Then we got Dale himself. I think Dale is slightly worse. Like, Dale's the best player in B tier. I think he's worse than Allen Houston. I think he's quite a bit better than everybody at B tier, but I don't think he's A tier um, either. Dale versus Money Mitch. Or sorry, Money Mitch versus Chris Mullen. You can actually make the argument right now, Dale over Chris Mullen, because mm -hmm. Dale's got Ray Allen base, and Chris Mullen's base 22. Oh, though it is a good release. Don't get me wrong. Base mm -hmm. 22 is a really I still find it hard to argue Dale over, over Chris. I do. I have a hard Ray time Allen arguing base. that. So we just I wish I would have never got Chris Mullen, though. We have to I wish I would have just saved my time. a little bit aware but of that. It but is what it is. Dale does nothing except shoot the ball, so I'm going to put him into B tier. Danilo Gallinari, he's 6'10 and plays the three. He's not he's D. tier, though. I'd probably like, put him at B. When I get Gallo in draft mode, Gallo I love it. He does not do much well. He doesn't, he, like, but he's he knocked down. Well. I remember I called him like a budget Larry Bird. And I do agree with that. He is Larry, but he does every single thing worse. He is the same type of player. He just does literally. I honestly think Gallo works. is B tier. I uh, really do. His height is the is the only he's reason. He's 6'10". Tier, his honest. release he is so chicken. That is. I like Gallo. I don't you know, mind I Gallo at all. Floor. Ranger A. His stats are a little bit underwhelming at this stage of the game, but his bad badges are, fit, badge are great. I mean, it, it's really that he's just as he's like yeah. Glenn, man. He's just Pretty like Glenn Robinson. Like he doesn't come with much. He if you really, if you've locked in with Granger and fully badged him up, he really does not come with much in terms of badges and stuff. So like, I know some people are not that high on Granger. I am high on Granger, however, uh, but I'm not high enough to put him in S tier as of right now. He might get moved up, but as of right now, I'm not. I, de I, I mean, definitely do like minutes. Danny Granger. I definitely do. I mean, he's A. Darius Miles is A. Darius Miles is my wow. second favorite player wow. on this list. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miles is still in my squad. Let, it, let us, let's add, this. you're saying Darius Miles is better than the Bernard King. Do we need to do this again? Do we need to do this again? Right? Do we need to do this again? Do, do, do honestly we need to do this again? Like, what are we talking about? I'm going to ask you this, and I want you to be honest with me. Outside of a three ball, what does Darius Miles do better than Bernard King? It's crazy to me. It's not even comparable. I don't then, understand. You guys watch. It. Just if you want to put Bernard King in the S tier, then do it. My, just like, do it. To, Cause that's crazy. What's his name? Road to Gary Payton videos. Gary was guys wants to place. There's a reason you are six, fifteen, and sixteen. DBG, get that scrub Darius Miles off your squad. Darius Miles can shoot. He plays. Okay, he's not a scrub. He's an unbelievably good player. He's not a scrub. And but next. like, come like, on, man. In 2K, what more do you need? A guy what who can take a couple of the dribbles. A 2K player than Darius Miles. Right, I'm it's sorry. It's a Gerald Green effect. 
These ultra athletic dudes that can. He's well, not. It's not comparing to shoot. Gerald Green. They just made Stop a witch card. These ultra athletic dudes are always gonna be good in the in He's games. not like that. Dominique. He's not B. very good. I mean, he gets every botch in the game. Dominique's not very good in the so game. I'm, I'm gonna put a B tier, but I mean, B tier is release, probably fine. In my but... opinion, is horrific. Absolutely horrific. Elgin. Now Elgin's A. At I least mean, A. I think I'm gonna have to some, move some of the tiers. You know what? I'm actually gonna move everybody in C tier down to D tier. Everybody in C tier down to D tier. I'm gonna move everybody not named Dale Ellis down to B tier. I'm gonna move Iguodala down. Okay. I'm gonna move. Don't um, touch Elgin. If you touch Elgin or if you touch Bernard King, I'm clicking off the video. I like all. I really like all these guys. I'm gonna move Darius down. As much as I love Darius, I'm gonna move Darius into B tier. Round of applause, BBP. A little bit better. Good Darius job. Really you made worse. a good adjustment. I like it. Darvin, B tier. And then. No, I'm not. English is better than E tier. Gervin, like, B. He's so mid. He's George mid. Gervin. I mean, but he's still he's B tier. So I mean, he's like, not, like, not great, but draft, he is B tier. If you, if you really enjoy the draft and you like playing the draft, I'm telling you, uh, he's not terrible. You can play the draft just for fun and for MT sake, you too, really right? I mean, you don't like have to play him. it for the top guys. Be my guess. However, I mean. The George Gervin we got last year was like, way better than that George Gervin. He's not great. Wallace. Now this Gerald Wallace is like D. He he's plays not very demons, good. But I'm this sorry. dude, I play against him a few times. He, he he's just P Diamond Gerald is best. probably S tier. He probably is S tier. I don't, he's not mellow. I don't even think he's better than Bernard King. I love you. Like, oh S. yeah, AK is the best on ball defender game. No, no, it's this dude right here. Mm. Like he, he like gets suction through screens. You cannot he cannot hit a screen. His defense. I don't know who the best on ball, ball I'm not right. even sure. He is a, again, a card that most people aren't going to get because they're not going to have the cards. And by the time a lot of people collect the, the amount of cards, by the time, there. Right, by the time you get Gerald Wallace, he's going to be a Kawhi Leonard, Paul Wallace, George Gerald out. Wallace, it was just going to be better. Glenn Robinson's A. Glenn is re. Glenn right is with Danny Granger. jack of all trades, master of none player. He does every single thing well in the game. He does. The guy has no weaknesses. I love Glenn Robinson because, well, everybody and their mother's out here running Kevin Durant. My Glenn. Holds it down for me. He doesn't play for me anymore because I got Grant Hill. For a player, like I mean, a player he's no good. He's, he's definitely like slightly good. worse Donnie Granger. I got to put him in A. He's good. Then we got Glenn uh, Dice. Let's get to shoot the ball. Dice, right man. He's, he's so good shoot shooting, it. I'm going to put him in C tier. I don't like him, though. Like, if you were I asking who him. I would rather run, Glenn Rice or Cam Reddish, I'm taking Cam Reddish. No. But he is a 6 7 2. No, right? no, 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 no. Let's calm down. His overall game is pretty Glenn is solid. Grant, if he's not in S tier, he better be at the top Grant of Hill, A tier. Yeah, he's in he S. S tier. He's I like, like it. Gerald Wallace, but a little better. He's another one that I'm just like, whenever I see Grant Hill on the opponent team, Grant Hill is I'm just so like, oh, man. okay, my point guy is not going to score this game. Like, I always love Grant Hill, and if you know me, you know that. Oh, my goodness, I love him. Else. His release Bob is Pettit, so you're good, too. The ball. And now I see Grant Hill, I know for a fact I will end up taking him the ball, Bob Paddock, using him as a point center. Grant Hill is so good. And trust me, and he was saying that's a ridiculous tactic. Don't knock it until you try it. Do not knock the ball pad tactic. Okay, okay. Did you, you need to relax. Like, just bringing up the ball with Bob Pettit. Like, what are but we What are we, what are, what are we general, doing Grant here, Hill, man? Just brilliant defender. Shoots the ball well. Great, great guy. Gus the bus. He's, I mean, as much as I would love to put him in lower than A tier, he is a solid. He's so probably the lowest guy I oh, have sorry, at A tier, like but he's good. My small and I love Gus. For my I absolutely love Gus. I never wanted to get rid of him. I had to, but he's decent. good. He shoots the ball really well. And his defense, I think, I don't know what it is with his wingspan. His wingspan seems super, super. Gus, I always would love Gus. But, uh, so I always have a special yeah, place in my heart. We know the exact things to get DB, and it's not particularly long. But it is what it is. Jamal Wilkes. Oh, you. What, how did you evade wordless tier up to this point? I was saying, DBG, he stinks. Jamal Wilkes. The only good thing about this card is it's so... When you shoot free throws with him, it's hard not to laugh. Like, that is the only good thing. I don't thing even know if I've ever shot, shoot, free throws shot a free throw with him. It's rough. It is rough. Jimmy. Jimmy's not bad. Do not put him in A tier. No, no, he, no, no, he, no, he no, 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 no. Jimmy? I think B tier is perfect for him. Put him above Iggy is crazy to me. He does a job. I don't think he's great, but he does a job. As so. a 3 and D guy, I get what DBG is saying. B tier would be more... He, I'm not putting. Thank you. I'm not putting a glue guy Thank above you. B tier. I mean, no, he is just, especially oh, I've got Iguodala there. Iguodala is better than Jimmy Butler, although Jimmy Butler can play better positions. He can't play too. So you're right. That has to be taken. You're right. You're right. You're as right. Well, B 
being able to play the two is a lot better. Being able Where's to he going to put Hondo? Or, or is Hondo A tier? Six, six. Hondo A tier? Hondo. Hondo's going to go B. In my opinion, Hondo is like and Jimmy Butler. It's He's, fairly even. Like, I think I Hondo's a little bit better, but that's like my opinion. that big of a difference between John Havlicek and Jimmy Butler. I know a lot of people, I know price-wise, actually, even not even price-wise, there's much of a difference. I know most people would say, oh, Hondo sucks, but I'm like, Hondo genuinely doesn't. He's not bad. Hondo is not bad. Dr. J. People just want to think of last year's Hondo, and At it's not the same. At this stage game, Dr. J is C-tier. But I mean, people I'm love that Dr. Dr. J, best, J so. man. People love, I, I don't even know if I ever used him, but people love why. I am saying this right now. People are going to call me crazy. S. This is wild. I have seen it all. I am closing my... Oh, my goodness. What in the Kawhi Leonard and S tier am I seeing? There is no player I hate playing more than Kawhi Leonard. He does not hit screens. You put Kawhi on ball and you S -tier? get on your center. Kawhi Leonard will not hit That screens. is crazy, DBG. With all due respect, that is crazy. He does not hit screens. He sh doesn't miss either. That is crazy. Amazing. He's not going to take dumb shots. Like, most people don't take dumb shots with him because his ratings are good. That is crazy. He's wide open. He's not going to miss. That is crazy. Like, that is crazy. Right? Like, those types I shouldn't say it's that crazy because a lot of people agree because Kawhi is a release. That valuable. is crazy. That is and literally the crazy. The fact that, like, cool. you can get Kawhi for a reasonable price is crazy. The guy is an The fact that you dog. put him in S tier is crazy. Yeah, Kelly. Kelly's not good. I mean, C -tier. Kelly just... Kelly's just better, Glenn Rice. I mean, you could argue Kelly and B tier. You're really good. I like Glenn's release more, though. But, like, I'll go see. Kelly's release. Man. Kevin Durant, S. S. No question. S tier. Absolute no. If problem. you know how to use Kevin KD, Durant I mean, brilliant. there's like, no, it is there's no really him words. Carmelo Anthony for that title of S small board in the game. And I I'm not that good go with Mello, him, so. But, I mean, if you want to go with Kevin Durant, I'm not going to argue there, but pretty much. They are both the first, two of the first, like pretty much perfect. They're cards, both cards that are just ridiculous. We've got Middleton. Middleton's not bad. Middleton's like Jimmy Butler, but I think he shoots better, but dunks worse. So he's a three and D cone. I'm Middleton's not bad. Landry Fields and isn't bad either. Landry Fields is literally just Jimmy Butler. They I are. I say Landry Fields is not same bad either. Basically same card, I so. used him for a little bit I'm on no money spent. He was fine. LeBron. A. a lot of people would have LeBron James in S. I'm putting LeBron in A. He is one of the better players in A tier. My thing is, if you have Bernard King in A tier, how is Bron better than Bron's player build no is No question about great, that. Though. LeBron James is most definitely. LeBron James is definitely better than Kawhi Leonard, too. I'm just throwing that out there. So, I'd probably replace Bron with Kawhi, be but that is my opinion. However, I just don't like... He doesn't really move. He's just a cone. Like, if you try to move yeah, at all... Yeah, but he is 6'9". Think about defensively, right? Defensively, he's in a dribbler. Anytime you dribble up through his legs, he stops. Um, yeah, but he's just, incredible defensively. For me, it was really, really hard to get LeBron James open. So, um, no yeah. quick first step. I get now it. Now we are going to. We're low key due for a better Bron. Just, this LeBron. Just saying. This LeBron C. Last LeBron C. He's not terrible, but he like he is C tier. He's not great either. He's not very Aguirre. good. Aguirre. Mark Aguirre is. The, he's A tier. The most, he's got to be most A tier. Underrated players in the game. He's good. He is on. I've been saying it. I picked him up for the no money spent. I've been saying he's good. Set and people, like he came out the day. That, and he came out and his name is Mark Aguirre. He's been terrible in past the, uh, packs. So. And we all know if Jamal Mashman's a headliner, like nothing good is coming out of it. But Mark but Aguirre has jump shots. Twenty two. Really, really good player in my opinion. Really good and defense. Super slapped on A tier. I agree. Then we have ML Carr. I hate I I I'm, I hate myself for doing this. I'm not putting him in S. Not even close. What are we debating here? No way you're gonna put him over Braun. No, he is at the. He's barely A tier. The dude can no. He's barely Three A tier. Steel patch. I you could argue that ML Carr was the most effective player in the game because there was no players that got as any as many. And I mean, still to this day, Gary Payton gets ball, so many steals. Steel steel. But I'm just it saying, like. Pocket. But at the end of the day, that got patched, and he's nowhere near as good. And it's weird, like he's I shoot better than him now, never, but he's getting worse because his defense is just getting worse. He's not at even that day, soup defensively. Um, like when he's 2K not. I'm sorry. Had a concept in the game that made him the best. When 2K patched the concept, he's gonna struggle. It happens to every, it happens to the, pretty much every card. I don't um, see it. Yeah, 2K patch the concept. If you'd have put him then in we SDR, are going lost to go mind. to OG. He's got to be I mean, OG. Can't even dribble. I'm putting OG in B. No, no, no. OG's A. OG's A tier. But I mean, mind. he doesn't need to dribble. He's like 100K and the guy can't move. He's, he's not worth the MT. 
DBG is so empty biased though. He will legitimately. Some people hit 3K, 300K. He is K so empty biased. I get it if you're a huge fan of OG Ananobi, but like, he's the cone. Paula Cone, Cone. Like. Mello, he's nah, like. Not Mello. Mello. Paul Pierce is like mini Mello. Ew. Get Paul Pierce out of A tier, DBG. Houston. No way you move Houston. Allen Houston down. Um, Guys, that's all. Like, cool. remove them. But, like, the thing with Mellow is that. I'm saying Mellow. Paul Pierce is that. He's Mellow with a significantly worse release and very similar stats. No way Paul like, Pierce is problem, A tier. Oh, he's budget Mellow. I'm like, dude, the guy can't shoot the ball. Paul Pierce is not A tier. For that's anybody the out there, he is not A tier. I do not care. Paul Pierce is not A tier. Paul Pierce would be brilliant. RJ uh, Barrett. RJ Barrett. Stuff. He's B tier. I don't care. C. Not terrible. I love RJ. I'm he's going B. to Breeze for the last few of these guys. Scotty Pippen. I'm putting Scotty in B tier. I think he shoots so much. That's more fine. I prefer RJ Barrett. That I'm putting him in B tier. I a lot of people would have Scotty in a higher tier, but I am going for a B tier with Scotty Pippen. Um, Sean Elliott. At this I mean, stage, Sean Elliott C. He was a good launch player. At this stage, I'd say Sean Elliott's probably D. Um, Steven Jackson C. Again, a really decent player at launch. TJ Warren. I don't think TJ Warren's better than Alex English, even though stats wise he's pretty. TJ Warren is one of those cards that I got and I can't even vouch very for. Very few badges as well. These last two cards like are good though. Two players, so I'm Vince putting both of these guys in A. I know what that is terrible. I'm about to oh, turn off this video. Vince I've Carter played. not in S tier is terrible. Against Vince plenty of times. I've never struggled against them because you haven't played me. How about you play me? I'll score every point with Vince instead. And don't even make me get on a good shooter. He's Vince a -tier. is S tier. However, Tobias That's Harris, crazy. He's, a, like, he's a close to S tier player. But Vince isn't? He can move. He shoots it well. Crazy. The only problem is 70 on this release that I'm not very good with. This is crazy. But if he ha if I was able to create this 70 real quick, he would be my power forward. Uh, I would say backup power forward. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony, obviously my start. But anyway, yeah. DVG is so empty, Bias. He's saying Tobias Harris is better than Vince Carter. You want to know why? Because he costs less MT. He's saying Ka Kawhi Leonard's better than Braun because he costs less MT. DVG, in general, just hates spending MT. It's it's literally, it, it, just stamp it. He hates spending MT. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. I do not like this tier list, DVG. This is not one of your better tier lists, but it sounds like you're six, so... Praise up to DBG. Hopefully he can, you know, heal that voice sooner rather than later. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.